my dear subscribers I'm glad to see you again today what I'm gonna do is to repair bushings not to make but to repair uh, I'm going to use polyurethane I'm going to use that nonsense <laughs> let's see what will happen so here are the bushings uh, these are Super Forster's uh, front arms rear bushings mm, all three are bad uh, the stuff inside uh, the liquid stuff uh, leaked out from the uh, from the bushings and uh, uh, they do not work properly so I made I decided not to remove all the rubber stuff from here and to make new bushings uh, using polyurethane but uh, I made holes on the both sides and uh, I cleaned cleaned up everything inside using some liquid stuff like this um, and I'm going to pour polyurethane in, inside the polyurethane which I'm going to use is very soft is flexible and the the hardness is 40 units the polyurethane which I'm going to use it is from America from the United States and its hardness is 40 it is very flexible it is uh, softer than rubber itself so the hardness of rubber is 60 units in my previous video I used polyurethane which is very hard its uh, hardness was 80, 80 units so you can see it is also flexible but it is very hard for example like this so, but this one is going to be twice softer, twice flexible okay this is component A at the base and this is the hardener component B uh, it is set here part A and part B here so I have already collected 15 milliliters of component A in, into the synergy and pour it into a cup. Oh my god. Okay, you can see. And now I'm going to collect just right 15 milliliters of component B and also pour it into the cup and mix it properly. Now we are collecting component B into the synergy. Okay, let's check. It's more liquid than this one. Okay. Now we are pouring it into the same cup. And we are cleaning the synergy. From this chemical. Now we are mixing these two components which are poured into this cup it's better to close them
we are going to use the same synergy for pouring the polyurethane mix mixture into the bushings. So we are pouring the polyurethane this way. Oh my god. The cup is empty. See any leaking from the bottom here? A drop, <laughs> and it's okay. Here, here as well. No, no, any polyur polyurethane drops are seen there. Okay. Seems that 10 milliliters is enough for each of them. Let's do the following.
as you can see it has still liquid state in comparison to my previous video so here is four milliliters of polyurethane which we are going to take off and check how flexible it is how soft it is etc so just for testing so the pushings uh, more than one week passed after repairing these bushings uh, using polyurethane with the hardness of uh, 40 units um, the next step is to install these bushings on the car on my Subaru and test and to use them but beforehand this single one uh, without its pair uh, I want to make a hole here and to see how how well it is filled with the polyurethane let's go on so we'll drill it somewhere opposite to the hole this was the lower point so let's not the opposite somewhere here it's better somewhere here I think So this is a piece of polar thing. It is filled up well, but It's clear that it sticks to the metal too badly. Well, I will try to install them on the car. As you can see, the adhesion of the polyurethane to the rubber as well as to the metal is very bad. I'm gonna install them. Let's see if they are gonna knock all the way or be silent. We'll put these two let's see <laughs> 